Yeah, interesting day, I guess. Um, probably just advantage for Australia at the moment. Um, obviously, you know, five for one seventy on a, in most Test matches, you'd say bowling teams definitely in front. But, um, but I guess being the gather, um, you never quite know where that where that sits in terms of the game. But um, I think without that partnership um, between Dan and Dean, would be uh, would be deep in trouble. But they managed to get some momentum together and uh, and put us back in the game a little bit. First hour good, um, second hour a bit reckless. Um, I guess you know guys wanting to try and try and exert some dominance on the, on the opposition in the game, and uh, we've probably just got to touch a touch over over uh, over aggressive, and, and we probably paid for it. So um, you know it was an interesting first first two hours, and uh, I guess that's that's what we anticipated leading into the game as well that that uh, sessions could swing pretty quickly. I think it just evolved. Um, each individual we took long and hard leading into the game about if you're an aggressive player to, to be true to that, and if you're uh, if you're slightly, I guess, more um, circumspect in your approach, that then just make sure you're true to that as well. And I think today, um, you know, it probably wasn't necessarily, uh, you know, well, the, the balls that, that got guys out weren't weren't necessarily the best balls that were bowled, but it may have been a build up of pressure as well. And, and sometimes on a pitch that that offers some assistance, not always the best balls that get the wickets. So. Um, you know, we'll learn from that. We're uh, by no means out of the game, and we've got some hungry batsmen for the next next time we roll out there as well. Brendan, when uh, you saw James Patterson on the top of his mark taking the ball rather than Patterson, did you think well, I might get a couple of hit and have a go? No, no. Um, I didn't think too much of it. I guess it's uh, it's just another bloke letting the ball go, and um, yeah, it was. I wasn't uh, I wasn't anticipating too much different. I guess. Brendan, the reality. Yeah, there is, there is some very disappointed bat, batsmen, uh, myself included. I think um, all of us are, uh, I guess, pretty upset that you pass up an opportunity to score some big runs on uh, on a challenging challenging pitch against a very good team. And um, you know, when you pass up those opportunities, it always always disappoints you. But I guess can't stress enough, it wasn't so much the uh, the, the deliveries themselves that got us out, but probably more so the build up pressure. And, and I guess uh, when you see a ball that's uh, that's not one of the better ones, you look to try and. Try and uh, try and dominate, it. and that's um, that's I guess where we were, uh, where we, we we came unstuck a little bit, and probably more um, of more importance for us is the fact that we lost wickets near well just after just before drinks, um, just before lunch, and then then again straight after lunch, and that was that was pretty disappointing from our point of view. We well we're priding ourselves on on uh, trying to play hard cricket during those um, during those times, and today we uh, we let ourselves down before and after breaks, so we've got to we've got to look look to rectify that second innings. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought it was a bit stiff not to get four leg buys actually. Um, yeah, like, I thought he bowled. I thought he bowled pretty well. Um, he was probably, in terms of the length he bowled, was was probably the most challenging out of a lot of them. And um, obviously his left arm as well, and his, his ability to use both uh, both obviously the angle that he can create going across here, but also when he came around coming from a wider angle as well. I thought thought he bowled really smart today and um, and I guess he got the rewards for it as well so he'll be pretty pleased with his first day of Test Creed I'd imagine. Thanks. What you just said before about the first hour, the fact that you got to whatever it was, you, when you got out you sort of slapped your bat around and all the rest of it, did you feel as though you got through the, the worst and there was a big score there for the taking before you? Yeah I guess you do, yeah I think um, you know you've, that first hour the gabber is always going to be the most challenging and to get through that um, to get to drinks, um, slowly start away again after drinks, and then to get out, I guess in the fashion I did just before the spinner was about to come on as well. I thought that was an opportunity where we could really put some pressure on if we're only one down. Um, so that was that was where my disappointment came from. It was the timing of when I got out after doing that hard work. So um, yeah, huge disappointment, but um, I guess that's that's how it rolls sometimes too. Yep, we would be. Um, yep. I guess that's that's just the nature of the game as well, isn't it? I think um, you know some guys get luck and some guys some guys don't don't uh, get it quite go their way. But you know I'm sure uh, I'm sure if Dean goes on to get a big score, we'd be pretty thankful for that missed opportunity as well. Uh, 
yeah, we, we always want to play more Test cricket. Um, but you know, that our dismissals today weren't because of our lack of Test cricket. Uh, it was just that we didn't execute the options we took, and um, pressure sometimes do, does that. And I think the spectacle of playing playing uh, Australia can um, can sometimes bring that out in you as well. And, the guys were trying to uh, trying to execute in those areas, and they didn't manage to do it. And hence the disappointment. But um, yeah, I guess bring it back to where we are in the game at the moment. We're slightly behind the eight ball, but we're going okay. So um, I guess one day down, nine more to go in the series, and uh, tomorrow's a big day for us to be able to step up and overcome those uh, the minus while well, the setbacks we've had today, and, and put ourselves in a strong position this time tomorrow night. We'll go down, Mark. Do you finish with David, Mark. Uh, not from my point of view. Um, I was pretty keen to bat. Um, yeah, I think all of us wanted to take the aggressive option of bat first, try and get ourselves a score in around that 300, which is incredibly competitive at the Gabba. Um, if it quickens up on day two and it doesn't move quite as much, then we believe we've got the bowlers that can exploit the links, which uh, which will offer us some chances. So, um, yeah, I don't think... You know, we're certainly not looking back and saying, geez, we will share a bowl first. Um, we still think we're not far away from uh, from from putting up a competitive total. Um, and if we can eke out a, a good two hours tomorrow morning, then uh, we put ourselves in a position where we were relatively comfortable where we were at and we've got something to bowl at. And, and hopefully we can expose some inexperience in the Australian top order as well and, and try and, uh, I guess, utilise the scoreboard pressure that we might create by batting first today. Well, I'd love 400, but, <laughs> um, you know, 300's competitive. 280's competitive. Um, it's not like every other cricket ground, as, as you'll know. And, um, it's one of those things, if we do hit the right areas, um, we can go, well, any team can easily have a session where you run through sort of six, seven wickets in a session if you get it right. So we've just got to keep making sure that, um, that we put ourselves in the strongest position we can. And 300 is probably, well, 280, 300 is the minimum for us. Um, and anything over that is a bonus. Finish with that. I'll make you kind of answer part of what I was going to ask, but did you get a sense of watching this afternoon about connecting with how the pitch may play tomorrow? Yeah, hopefully it's flat when we bat and then goes everywhere when we bowl. Um, well, I think tomorrow, depending on how hard it rains tonight, I guess, and and now uh, how much well how much cloud or, or uh, cloud cover there is tomorrow, it seems to be that when there is cloud cover here, it, it goes around a lot more, and, and the pitch obviously softens up a touch with it as well. So I guess we were, when we first entered the game, we we're anticipating that it's going to go around quite a lot day one, maybe a little bit too slow to really expose you, um, and quicken up on day two, and hopefully that'll that'll be when we can expose them with the links that we bowl. We're looking to bowl a lot fuller than than uh, than I guess what what Australia did in that last session, probably more so where they were in that uh, that, that second hour of the first session. If we can do that, then um, then I think we've got an opportunity to expose them.